Hey guys, picking up pretty much exactly where we left off at the conclusion of the last video. Just resting at this bonfire and getting ready to go to the next part of the Anor Orlando Castle. Now, unfortunately, since I rested at that bonfire, all the Silver Knights have respawned, but there's only one of them that I have to fight, at least right off the bat here. But we do have more that we'll have to fight a little bit later. A uh, little bit of a note, I will certainly want to uh, kindle that bonfire before I fight the boss, especially if I end up summoning some phantoms to help me. As I've mentioned many times, uh, if you summon phantoms to help you, like other players from Xbox Live or PSN, uh, then or PS3 I should say, then it, uh, they require the use of your Estus to heal, so it's just part of being a, a good gracious host to have an, as much Estus as possible, so you can handle basically any contingency that you come across. Now, these chests look tempting, but these are all mimics, as is the one over here. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore them for now. They drop gold coins and silver coins, which are pretty much worthless to me at this point. Uh, especially since I'm not sure... For those of you who are, you know, Dark Souls aficionados, I haven't decided if I'm going to talk to Frampt. Uh, or, yeah, it's Framp or Frampt? I think it's Framp. Anyway, uh, I haven't decided if I was going to talk to him, because that will restrict our use of joining another covenant, which may actually prove more entertaining. Now, of course, we do have to deal with this Black Knight here. I'm just going to stick to my standard circle around and backstab technique. These guys are, they hit hard, but they're, by and large, pretty dumb. So we can just kind of move around them. Oh, that attack, though. Pain in the ass. I should probably try to roll out of the way of that shield bash. But two backstabs, and they'll die. Particularly after that attack. Pretty easy to backstab. And we're trying to make our way, not to spoil anything for you guys, but we're trying to make our way to the next Blacksmith that we are going to meet, and this is arguably the most useful blacksmith in the game. It's certainly a very useful blacksmith, at the very least. Can this guy see me? I don't know if he can see me. I don't think he can see me. Okay, good, because I'm going to try to fight this guy first. And if I get hit by any of his arrows, then I'm probably fucked. Alright, he's just going to stand there stoically while I attempt to murder his buddy, which is fine by me. Oh, this is the perfect three-hit combo to go into a backstab. If only they were trained not to do that, they would be so much harder to kill. Oh well. Sucks for them. And then we'll have this dude with his Dragon Slayer arrows, but we'll just stay out of the way of those. We'll pull out a sword at some point, but too late! Already backstabbed you. And we'll get one more in on him. At some point, maybe. Could try to parry him as well. You might notice that I have six Estus now. That's actually because there was, uh, about a minute ago, there was a glowing light that hit me in the face. That means somebody else is playing this area of Dark Souls online right now, and they just kindled their bonfire. So that gives me one more Estus Flask. Not permanently, it doesn't give me six forever, but it gives me one more for, you know, this life, until I rest at the bonfire. Now, room on the right, pretty much empty. Room on the left, scary-ass Titanite Demon. So we're going to stay away from him for now, because uh, this Titanite Demon is actually a little bit stronger than the last one we ran into. So... If you look around here, you can see there is a Silver Knight, or a Black Knight, with the Dragon Slayer bow. And also two enormous Royal Sentinels on the ground. If you can just look at them through the pillars there. We are going to completely ignore them for now, because the area we want to go to is actually around here. And there's a couple of shortcuts that we can open that's going to make our progress through Anor Orlando much easier next time. And we will be coming back here, because this is a great zone for both uh, PvP and cooperation. For defeating the boss, you get a lot of souls, and there's always people who want help with this boss. And uh, if you stay at a low enough level, what level am I right now? 35. Uh, my, my player versus player character is level 44, and he gets tons of action in Anor Orlando. But first, we are going to meet the blacksmith here. Forge your weapons. Yes, please forge my weapons. Um, no, I don't want to turn my scimitar into a lightning scimitar. I want to turn it into Quaylog's Fury Sword. Alright, so we're going to send our scimitar plus 10 to Quaylog's Fury Sword. This will use the soul of Quaylog. Let's equip that right away. I'm not sure if... Does that do more than our lightning spear does right now? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Lightning spear right now does 160 physical, 160 lightning. And Quaylog's Fury Sword does 60 physical, 170 fire. But we are going to use this... Because I believe I have enough Demon Titanite to upgrade it at least once. So let's reinforce our Quaylog's Fury Sword. Oh, we have two Demon Titanite, okay. So we should be able to up upgrade it twice. Uh, except we don't have enough souls. Which is exactly why I always, always hold on to these soul items until I absolutely need them. So Large Soul of a Brave Warrior should give us 3,000. 
8,000. Wow, that's mm -hmm. more than I expected. So we will uh, reinforce our Quaylog's Fury Sword again, so we get a little bit more damage. Well, a lot more fire damage, a little bit more physical damage. And this is a weapon that we'll be using for a while because it does scale with dexterity. And the reason we're going to use it over the Lightning Spear, even though the Lightning Spear has increased overall damage right now, is because the Lightning Spear does lightning damage, and that's not going to be very good to take out uh, these lightning-type enemies. So you can see, with every attack, it does a fair amount of damage. And this is a weapon, it's called a Chaos Weapon, and that means it actually scales with our humanity. So with two humanity, we're doing more than if we had zero, uh, but of course if we had ten humanity, which is the maximum scaling for this, uh, it would do a lot more damage. So I might do some co-op off-camera to try to get to ten humanity. Or maybe I'll do it on-camera, I don't know, make a montage. Sometimes for co-op you have to wait like twenty minutes to be summoned, which is annoying. But you can see the weapon is also a spider's leg. Just kind of a cool nod to Quaylog, and I believe this is actually the sword that she was using. Even though, I don't know. See, she was riding a spider. I don't know. Did she take one of its legs to use as a weapon? Who knows? That guy's going to fall off the edge. I'm going to re-equip my bow because there's a good chance we should be able to knock some people off the edge here. Because we are going to have to deal with some gargoyles here. So let's knock him off. There we go. That was exactly how that shit was supposed to go down. No one's hiding right there. So we'd have one more of these gargoyles. Or what would you call This isn't a gargoyle, this is just a demon. Semantic difference, but a difference nonetheless. Alright, he's gonna fall off the edge too. Better than dealing with me, is what I picture him saying as he goes down. Now, we will pillage the corpse here, get the Titanite Chunk. Titanite Chunk allows us to upgrade a variety of different types of weapons, but primarily we're gonna use it for upgrading lightning weapons. So we could use that to upgrade our lightning spear, but I don't wanna. Instead, I wanna take a look at my Uchi Katana. Uh, which is plus zero right now, so I should really ascend that to plus ten next time I get an opportunity. One thing we are going to do is open up this shortcut right here. So this is going to allow us to easily get back to the blacksmith next time we want to. And there's one other thing. What does this say? Yes, okay, I, I would love to talk to you. Uh, I should probably repair my equipment. A lot of people have mentioned that I haven't repaired my equipment very often, so a lot of it is probably pretty close to breaking. Well, not very close to breaking at all, actually, but... Might as well repair it. Uh, there's a chest behind the blacksmith, and I can never figure out how to get to it, like how to open it. I'm not sure if you actually have to kill the blacksmith to get to it, uh, but I am not going to kill the blacksmith because he's, as I said, potentially one of the most useful NPCs in the game. Let's get a quick reminder of what he sells. Repair box. Do I not have a repair box yet? I should probably pick one of those up. Uh, he sells Dragon Slayer arrows, so if we could get a Dragon Slayer bow drop, that would be fantastic. Giant set of armor, which is pretty popular online. Uh, he also sells Titanite Shards, Large Titanite Shards, and Twinkling Titanite. Uh, I will buy some Titanite Shards. Actually, you know what? I'll just modify my equipment, or reinforce my equipment. I want to upgrade my Uchi Katana as high as I can. So we should be able to get that, uh, not to plus 5, but at least to plus 4. And you know what? I will buy another 3 Titanite Shards in order to upgrade that to plus 5. The reason being... Next time I go back to uh, where Andrea of Astora is, the other blacksmith, I will upgrade it. There we go. All the way to plus 10, and then I'll come back here and use my Titanite chunks to upgrade it to plus, um, or to lightning, I should say. Lightning Uchi Katana is one of my favorite weapons. It's actually what I use on my other PvP character. And the fact that I have the uh, Uchi Katana in addition to Quaylog's Fury Sword will mean that essentially. Uh, I will have two different elemental weapons, for lack of a better term. So I'll have a fire weapon for enemies that are weak against fire or strong against lightning, and then I'll have a lightning weapon for enemies that are weak against lightning or strong against fire, if that makes any sense. And we do have one more shortcut that we should open up. So we're going to come down here. Uh, scary Titanite Demon Door is over there. So I don't want to go in there. And actually, I was mistaken. This room is not empty. This is the room that is actually going to prove as to be a shortcut to our next bonfire. So we're going to have to fight one Silver Knight here. I'm going to draw him up off the stairs into an area where there's a little bit more open space. And I'm not going to mess around. Normally when I fight these guys, I fight these guys a lot when I'm waiting, for, waiting to be summoned or waiting to uh, you know, invade somebody. But uh, I will do like parrying on them just to try to have some fun with them. Actually, I think Quaylog's Fury Sword is doing double damage compared to how much the Lightning Spear did, so this is definitely a good pickup for us right now. And uh, kind of also comeuppance for anybody who was like, why are you still using the Scimitar plus 8 or plus 10? 
It's never gonna be any good. You should switch to like a Black King Great Axe. Nope, uh, I'm pretty happy with Quaylog's Fury Sword, actually. And you know, we will kill the Silver Knight down here. We can actually run by him without getting aggro, but I do want the Silver Knight armor, which is contained within those chests. Let's Estus up, because we're pretty close to the bonfire. And then, see if I can parry him, and then reposte right into his stomach. Won't kill him in one hit, I think. And then we can maybe get a, yeah, there we go. Quick two-handed weapon strike will be enough to take him out. No drops, which is sad. I would love to have them drop a Silver Knight shield, because that is probably my favorite shield to use in the game. And honestly, here in Anorlando, we'll probably pick up some of the armor that I'm going to use for the duration of the game. I may use Silver Knight armor for the duration of the game and just continue to upgrade it. Let's put that on right now. Because that is probably the most, for me, the most badass looking set. Havel's looks kind of cool, but it doesn't look nimble. Silver Knight set looks kind of nimble. Now, it kind of looks incongruous with this uh, heater shield, this beat up shield that I've been using for like 80% of the game since on Deadburg. But, we can get a Silver Knight shield from one of these uh, Black Knights here. Or Silver Knights, I should say, which I would prefer. Now, one thing I will say, we are super slow right now wearing the Silver Knight armor, so I'm going to take it off. And then hopefully, we will be able to um, use that for the boss fight. I might as well try to fight the boss in this video. <clears throat> the one thing I will say is that I would love, absolutely love, to be able to summon somebody. At the very least, we should be able to kindle this bonfire. So let's rest. We've got two humanity we're not doing anything with. Who dares wins, right? So let's reverse hollowing first. You have to reverse hollowing in order to kindle. This will make us human, so if there are summon signs here, we should see them. Yeah, there's one right there. Kindle the bonfire. Not only does this give us an extra, well, up to ten Estus here, it also gives anybody in the area an extra Estus, which is nice for these bros who are waiting to be summoned. Now let's try to summon some sun bros. I may have a little bit more patience than usual with this, simply because uh, this is probably one of the most difficult bosses in the game. In fact, a lot of people would classify this as the most difficult boss in the game. I don't necessarily agree with that, but then again, I've never done it without summons. So this might be a good opportunity to see that. Oh, his sign disappeared. That means he might be coming into our game. I was hoping that was the case. I swear to God, it's only when I record that summoning fails so often. I can easily get summoned and summon myself off camera. But once you, once you start recording, it doesn't work. I mean, there is an NPC summon for this fight, but he sucks really badly at it. All right, let's try it again. Dr. Dark, he's the only guy in the area, apparently. It sounds like someone's coming in because uh, I can't use the bonfire. Either that or I'm being invaded, but it'll send me a message if I get invaded. Of course summoning failed. The rest of the bonfire again. Okay, let's see if any more summoning signs pop up. If not, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Doesn't look like it. I'll give it. I'll give you 10 seconds if you want to do some cooperation. Solaire, you in? Oh, I'm so tempted to just murder you right now for that sweet-ass sunlight armor. Well, I don't see anybody. Part of the reason for this is, I'll admit actually, that I am super low level for doing this part of the game. Which is unfortunate. Uh, so if this ends up failing, this will probably be the end of the video, and then I will just uh, level up a little bit off camera, show you where my statistics came in. Hopefully, we'll be able, we'll be able to get a summon for next time. And it's entirely possible I could beat this boss without uh, using uh, an Xbox Live summon Phantom, but it's not guaranteed. Let's put it that way. So it'd be nice. It'd be nice to show off some co-op regardless. So now that we have unlocked that shortcut, we can actually take the, uh, the short way around. We may get invaded here because this is a very popular area for PvP, but considering the fact that my summonings always fail, I'm not too worried about getting invaded because apparently the netcode is totally broken, at least when I have my uh, HD PVR turned on. We don't even need to do uh, the backstab trick so much on these guys. Now that we have the Fury Sword, uh, we could just whittle them down, but it's so much faster to just backstab them. Although, kind of more cumbersome as well. Okay, fine. You know what, buddy? Maybe I'll just walk out the door here. Heal myself up and then try to parry your ass. Rick parry your ass. Which quite clearly does not apply, or does not imply gay sex. This Rick Perry's not into that sort of thing. There we go. Thank you for saving me from my political discourse. I'm using way too many Estus flasks here. I should definitely be saving some for the boss. 
In fact, you know what? I'm going to play a little bit cautious. Even though this may anger some people watching, I'm going to go back to the bonfire and I'm going to rest up to get back up to 10 Estus because there's no excuse for me to have used 3 Estus on 2 guys. And again, that summon sign for Dr. Dark just dis- Oh, there's one more! No, there's not. <laughs> there's two possibilities. One is that these guys are like, what isn't anybody summoning me? You would just, I would just want to be summoned so I can help fight the boss. And the other one is that this is actually a really high traffic summoning area. So probably these guys are actually getting summoned before, they, before I can get to them. Which is fine. I mean, again, I am playing this on, at like noon on a Thursday. So I can understand, you know, a lot of people who play this game are at work right now. Which is totally fine. I guess technically I'm kind of at work right now, too. Now these guys are nearly dead. Let's take him out the non-cheese way. There we go. Please drop Silver Knight Shield. Silver Knight Shield, my favorite shield in the whole game. Killing Silver Knights over and over and can't seem to get it. Oh well. You can never seem to backstab him off the uh, that circle attack he does with the spear, which is very strange. This should take him out. Oh, it didn't! Okay, put your shield back up. Alright, oh. Okay, I'm kind of amazed that you're still alive. Now you are dead. And I really like this other Silver Knight in here. It's just like, whatever, man. I didn't see anything. If you're not gonna fuck with me, I'm not gonna fuck with you. So we'll take the shortcut up here. We could fight the Titanite Demon. He's weak to, I believe, both lightning and fire. Maybe just fire. Uh, but he's, he's weak to one of them, certainly. And uh, that would make him relatively easy to take out. But the thing is, he would probably murder us fairly quickly as well. Maybe two hits. So I would have to be uh, pretty on with my, my rolling. Let's put it that way. Because there is that one attack that is unshieldable. Now, I'm not doing so well for humanity. Like, uh, consumable humanity. So actually succeeding here would be fantastic because I wouldn't have to waste another humanity to turn human reverse hollowing, if you will, uh, later on. Let's murder this archer here. There's a number of different strategies for dealing with this room. This one is my favorite in particular, taking the long way around and then murdering the archer first. Because those royal sentinels are huge pains in the neck. This might be the end of that silver knight archer. That went really well. See, so much better this time, having not used a single Estus. Now you can see there's a summon sign there. I can pretty much guarantee that one is not going to fail. This will be Solaire. Oh, Lord. Okay, so when you see that, you feel the black eye orb quivering. That means that uh, someone, uh, specifically a covenant known as the Grave Lords, have just activated their covenant item in your area. Now, what that means is that we should come across some black phantoms. Black phantoms are insanely powerful. And uh, the Black Phantoms of the Silver Knights could probably actually one-shot us. Now, the way that we can actually get rid of them is kind of cool. We can uh, go find the, the Red Sign Soapstone, or Black Sign Soapstone, I'm honestly not sure, that the Silver Knight, or the, what am I talking about, that the Grave Lord leaves, because he has to leave that in order to uh, put, his, put his Phantoms into our world. You know, I'm not explaining this well. Let's start from the beginning. Hi, I'm Northern Lion, and this is going to be a Let's Play of Dark Souls. Uh, no, essentially the Grave Lords uh, make your world harder, but if you find the place where they put the item that makes your world harder, you can go into their world and invade them and then try to fight them. And if you succeed, I don't know, I think you get souls. Or something. I really hate that attack that those Royal Sentinels do. These guys also have good drops as well. They can drop Titanite Chunks as well, which makes this a half-decent spot to farm Titanite Chunks if you're trying to get them you know, relatively early on in the game. This is the first time you ever need Titanite Chunks, let's put it that way. And I'm so pissed off that Solaire is actually losing this fight to this Royal Sentinel because he can't be healed, so he's going to be useless against the boss. He's already lost like half of his health. Alright, Solaire, I'm, I'm not happy about that, but that's fine. There's nothing we can do about it now, is there? So let's go fight the boss and promptly get murdered, probably. I uh, haven't run into any Black Phantoms yet, and once I get through the boss wall, I don't think I will, which is good. Uh, the Black Phantom spawn near where the, uh, where the Grave Lord used his Eye of Death, his Covenant item. So that is our shortcut to the rest of Anor Londo, so we never have to go through those archers again. Hoping against hope that there is a summon sign somewhere around here for uh, an Xbox Live bro who wants to help out. Otherwise, this is going to be a very difficult fight. I'll probably equip a harder set of armor. Very commonly, uh, Havel's armor is used here. But I am not going to use Havel's armor. Instead, I'll probably use the Silver Knight armor. Because Havel's is going to not give me very much stamina regen for this fight. So we'll put on our Silver Knight armor. 
And enter on in the boss fight, there will be a cutscene right here that you will see, and then we'll get going. Oh, actually, you know what? I should equip my Pyromancer's Flame instead of my bow. And ca Great Chaos Fireball instead of Fireball. Alright, here's the cutscene. Enjoy, guys. I'll see you in a second. Alright, so we're fighting Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Executioner Smo or Smogers. Whatever, anyway. We have to defeat one of these guys first before we get to the other ones, and it's really good to have a fire weapon for taking these guys out. Or I should say it's really good to not have a lightning weapon, because essentially a lightning weapon uh, is not going to hurt them at all. But you can see, wow. So Lair and I are doing a pretty good number on Ornstein here. Ornstein is the slimmer of the two. Uh, and also probably the more dangerous man, so Lair is getting crushed. But if I can just defeat Ornstein before uh, Solaire dies, we'll be in an okay position. Not a great position, certainly. And look at how low my stamina regen is. But we're doing well on Ornstein here. It looks like uh, Solaire is kind of taking care of Smo, and I don't. He shouldn't be doing as much damage. He should be focusing on Ornstein with me. But uh, it's cool that he's distracting him at the very least. This fight 1v1, or 1v2 I should say, is exceptionally difficult simply because they're both on you at the same time. It's certainly possible to do solo, as all bosses in the game are, but uh, it's difficult, let's put it that way. My stamina regen is really low right now, so is Solaire's health. Solaire, please just help me defeat Ornstein. If one of them dies, I can maybe defeat the other one on my own. But when there's two of them around, it's going to be very difficult for me. Oh god, okay, roll! Roll, <laughs> you fool! Oh, well, no, that's actually gonna kill me. Alright, so that went pretty poorly, but that's actually a good part to end the video at. Wow, that... Solaire, just keep it up, buddy. You're doing a great job. Uh, yeah, so I'm really gonna hope that I'm gonna be able to summon some help for the next video. Or at least level up. I might do some grinding off-camera, level up, and show you where, my, where I put my stats so that I can actually find more science here. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. That's the first time I think I've died in Anne Orlando, which is actually pretty surprising. This tends to be one of the hardest spots in the game. At least, because it's a pretty significant ramp up in difficulty. You're not fighting hollows anymore. Your basic enemy are silver knights. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time, where we will hopefully be able to defeat Ornstein and Smo. Thanks for watching.